Hey, I just wanted to do a quick little video on um, how to create your own sigil. Um, so this is the spare carol method. And it's actually really easy and a cool, like, uh, it's just a really cool way to get your intuition flowing and, cr and creating your own sigil. Um, so... So you get to write out your statement, um, which you want to kind of word in a way that, you know, gives it different paths of manifesting. So for example, like I would like to win money at poker night wouldn't be ideal, um, but it is my will to win money at poker tonight would be a much better option. So yeah. Basically, your sigil just kind of encap encap encapsulates your desire into a picture. Um, and that's a great way of communicating with the subconscious mind. So I'm going to use a very silly um, intention today just to kind of show you. So um, let's say I desire to be awesome. So with this method, you're going to want to go in and kind of take out any repeating numbers. So we have a lot of E's. So we cross out all except the first E. Um, S. And I think that's it. And then you take your remaining letters. I don't know. Okay, so that's what you're left with. And if you want to, you can kind of jumble those up if you want. I don't normally. Um, but if you feel called to do that, so you can rearrange those letters any way you want. And then you just kind of start putting those letters into a picture. So for example, I use my I, and then I fit in that D. And then we got an E, so maybe I could go like this. Right, and then an S, wherever. And you just kind of keep adding letters to it. So I could just add a thing like that for the R. Oh, we had another I there. Um, a T, O, A, um, put the A in like that. You know, stuff like that. And you just keep adding all the letters until you're done and then an M like that okay so now that you have this base drawing from all your letters you kind of just keep going until it looks kind of magical so I kind of like what that was happening here maybe you could go like this for that A um, and yeah, you just keep going until you are happy with it. And once you're happy with it, so let's say I'm happy with it like this, then you can go in and just kind of add little embellishments or, you know, just little extra shapes. You can even make it kind of like curl out and kind of make it a little fancy. And there you go. So let's say you're happy with this. That is your sigil. Um, so yeah, so encapsulated in here is I desire to be awesome. And then once you are done and happy with your sigil picture that you created, um, once you like your little image that you created, and like I said, you could keep going and, you know, adding, removing things, um, but it's basically you communicating that desire uh, with your conscious mind. So, you know, it kind of is an interesting way to create your own sigil. And once you um, have it complete, you can kind of um, use a form of divination to make sure that the sigil is right for you. Um, for myself, I like to use a pendulum. You could give yourself, um, use tarot cards for a tarot reading, just kind of get an idea of 
you know, if that sigil is right for you. So, um, me, I use my pendulum, so I just ask if the sigil is good enough, and it's telling me no, but this is just for fun, so. <laughs> so if it says no, I could just keep going until it's, ha it's happy with it, basically. Sorry if you can hear my kids upstairs. Um, so yeah, so the subconscious mind like thrives on symbols or whatever. So this is a really good way to kind of program that into your subconscious mind. And then once you want to kind of program this with that intention, um, I like the fire method personally. There are many different ways you can kind of program it, including, you know, sex magic kinds of stuff. For me, it's a lot more fun. I love burning things. <laughs> so what I would do is I would, you know, kind of get into a meditative state, sit and breathe for a little while. And then with my giving hand, I would just kind of put that over and just kind of as I'm breathing deeply, I would just send all my focus and all my energy and just focusing on that statement, I desire to be awesome. So I would just sit there until I felt it was okay, and then I would come back with my pendulum again, ask it if um, the sigil has been programmed. If not, I get into a meditative state again and keep going. If it has, at that point, um, I'll normally grab a crystal that's kind of associated. So I don't know, let's just say a carnelian would be good for that. So I would just kind of let it sit along with the crystal and kind of program the crystal with that intention as well. And then once I'm done that step, I kind of take it and burn it in a little fireproof dish. And uh, yeah, and then you kind of let the intention go and just, you know, kind of just have that knowing that it'll work. And that's basically the gist of it. I mean, yeah, there's not much else that goes into it. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, yeah, I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.